why disconnect now, Spectrum? Why disconnect now? Why? For what? For what? Why disconnect? Why disconnect now, Spectrum? All right, we're back, guys. Man, I hope Spectrum sees this and, and fixes their service. You know what's crazy is that I'm actually on a Spectrum TV show that comes out in about a couple weeks. I did a whole interview and everything. coming out in November. Sit in the W. Did he? Yes, he did. Let's make sure it's verified. Yep. That is a W right there. All right, Nick B has finished his final game. Now we're waiting on Mr. Gringo. All right, everyone has had their sixth game. Nick B, fantastic, Nick B. Fantastic, Nick B. I saw that. I saw that, Nick B. <laughs> I know, I saw that you only have three kills, but it's good though. It's not about kills. It's about squad rank. It's about squad rank. Squad rank. I bet you did. I bet you did, but too bad. We aren't even we aren't even calculating that. That's not even something we're calculating, Mr. Nick B. Mr. Nick B, we are calculating the team totals, the rank of the teams. We are calculating the rank of the teams, Nick B. The rank of the teams, Nick B. Yo, Hoop Squad's in there. Oh my gosh, Hoop Squad's still around. Hoop Squad, we are... Uh, we are approaching our final tournament game all the way from Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Squad, Puerto Ricano, Puerto Ricano. We need to see the Puerto Ricano, Bob G, Puerto Ricano, chicken dinner. Man, we've been giving us so many chicken dinners tonight, guys. So many chicken dinners. It's like we're out of chicken. We're out of chicken. Somebody go to the store. Go to Whole Foods. Go to Whole Foods and get. We need uh, chicken. We need uh, sides. We need some fixings. We need some fixings. We need some peas, carrots, mashed potatoes, yams. We need some yams too. <laughs> Don't forget the yams. People forget about the yams. Don't forget about the yams. We need peas, mashed potatoes, yams with chicken. We also need. Um, uh, what else we need? We need, uh, we need <laughs> dinner rolls. We need salad. We need salad. When I, my, my aunt used to uh, give me salad with uh, chicken. And I'm like, yo, what is this? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you putting a salad on this plate when I have um, chicken right here? It doesn't even mix. You can't, you can't have a cold salad. A cold, crunchy salad, and then hot, crispy chicken. It's like, what is this? What cornbread? Yes, cornbread. Super potato pie. Yo, yeah. Super potato pie. That's yo. That's after you eat though. That's after you eat. That's after you eat. Not at the same time. You can't eat. You can't eat super potato pie at the same time as the chicken. But the cornbread, for some, and I don't know why this is. Corporate
bread is like the only like s like tasty sort of like sugary thing you can eat while eating chicken. I don't know why that's acceptable. That's like the equivalent of saying, yo, have a piece of key lime pie while you're eating fried chicken. I guess chicken and waffles is also one of those things where you can have both combined together, which first off, guys, let me just put it out there. Chicken and waffles, not that good of a combination. It's not, and I, I hate to break it to people. I do know people, you like hear about it, you come to uh, LA, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, but in, a, in, like, in like actuality, in actual practice, like eating it, it's not the best combination, chicken and waffles. I've tried it. I've tried it before in different, um, in different places in the country, in Arizona, California, I've tried it before. And if you're gonna do chicken and waffles, you like, might as well do like tuna and cheesecake. Cause it's the same, it's the same level of craziness. Right, right hoop. I think so too. All right, Gringo. We're uh, waiting on that stream. The whole planet, the whole planet is waiting on that stream, Gringo. You're the final, the final squad. All the way from Puerto Rico, you played five bouts, five battles. You need one additional battle. We're gonna go to your stream whenever you're live. I do know that you're on your phone. Yeah, it's chicken or it's waffles. Thank you, man. It's like, would you eat like hamburger and pancakes? No. You would eat a ham, but, but, touche, hey, Hoop, Nick B, Gringo, Ash, everybody can, can definitely attest to this. You would, you would eat a hamburger and pancakes, Nick B, if, if you were high enough, you would eat hamburger and pancakes. You would eat a hamburger and pancakes. Yo, if I were high enough, I probably would too. But what I was gonna say, I think we had Gringo up, no. What uh, I was about to say is that actually, so here's, here, here's a crazy taste combo that people eat, and I've eaten it before. I've eaten this before, maybe you have eaten this before. So has anyone out there had a uh, griddle, Nick griddle? Has anyone out there have had one of those? It's basically like a sausage biscuit, right? It's a sausage biscuit, right? <coughs> but the actual biscuit is a pancake. It's a pancake. It's, it's basically a, a, you know, condensed pancake. And you eat it with the sausage and the pancake and it's like syrupy kind of. You bite into it and like syrup kind of comes out. And then you eat the sausage. And the sausage like burns your throat because that's what sausage does. You know? Come on, body squad. Pancake sausage sandwich for the win. You know what's up, Chef Boya Dizzle. Hoops like, bruh, I'm going. I was rolling. Oh, you were rolling a joint? Oh, roll that joint, man. All the way from Puerto Rico. All the way from Puerto Rico. Get down on that pub G. From Puerto Rico. Puerto Ricanos. Give me that SGL Puerto Rican chapter. Puerto Rican chapter. Who's in the lead right now? It's all dependent on this final game. Seriously. If Gringo has a wena wena right here, 
there could be some serious, serious stuff happening, but it's very close. Everything is close. We've had, we've had strings, long strings of number ones. Let me just tell you how many chickens we've killed tonight. Ready? We've killed 11 chickens tonight. 11 chickens have been killed tonight. Gringo says his stream is up. It's not up for me. It's not up for me, sir. You're still down. You're still down. Dennis, one, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. Dennis, one, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. Dennis in the building. Dennis in the building. One, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. Dennis in the building. How you feeling? Dennis in the building. Yo, straight illin'. Dennis, one, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. Hoop squad, mid colonels, Bob, Miss A.L. Yeah, I got the follow. Yeah, I got the follow. Yo, I got the follow, Dennis. One, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. Drinking all that weed, smoking that wine. Actually, it's other way, rewind, but it's all good. Waiting for the Puerto Rican, yo, body squad. Gringos, 23 PR. All right, let's go to that big screen. Let's go to that big screen. That big screen. All right, guys, we have Mr. Gringo about to jump out of the plane with a with a parachute. Guys, would you ever do this? Would you ever sign up to even do this? What if like this was an actual thing? And it was like, all right, you can either go to prison or you can like do this. You can either uh, go to prison or you can just jump out of a plane onto this island. And this island is like packed with a bunch of pistols and guns and stuff. And the um, last person on the island wins their freedom and a chicken dinner. That's the most important part. Freedom you can keep. Chicken dinner, give it right here. What up, Alicia? Hey, Alicia, Alicia. Hey, hey, yo, put you in, coach. Ash whoop. That ash whooping, ash whooping, getting that ash whooping all over the floor. Ash whooping, crooking, stooking, straight booking, Corey booking it. Huh. Dennis, oh, sorry. Dennis, you know what? Sometimes the bots get a little bit wild, Dennis. Dennis, I'm telling you, sometimes the bots, they don't have a sense of humor, and they, they just wild out. They just wild out. So, guys, we are looking at the final bout, the final battle for Mr. Bory Squad, a.k.a. Gringo23PR, AKA the Puerto Rican assassin. AKA Mr. Puerto Rican himself. Bory Squad. We're checking him out as he's running through the forest. Look at that nice carpet. Fix the carpet. And he should have, the carpet was crooked. See, if I were there, I'd be like, yo, I can't, no, fix the carpet. The carpet's crooked. Oh. See, I would do stuff like fix carpet if I was in this game. And also, why are there sheets on that bed? Put some sheets on that bed, make that bed up, and then you can go to the next room. Fix the carpet. It's crooked. Oh, my gosh, that would drive me crazy. Fix the carpet. See, I, that, that's the reason why I get... So, you're asking me if I play this game. I do play PUBG. 
I do play PUBG 100%. Um, not as good as any of these five players. Yeah, fix the carpet. There you go. Move it a little bit. All right, there you go. That was a good enough. That was good enough. Get that frag. I'm also very delayed, too, because I'm uh, watching a stream. It's crazy. Uh, in the HQ, we have this uh, big, huge 4K TV um, that covers the entire... Like, like half of the entire office, right? But the problem is that whenever we um, look at Twitch on it, it's a bit um, delayed by like maybe 12 seconds, maybe like 10 seconds. But if we um, check it out on the computer, directly from the computer, it isn't delayed at all. I'm not sure why that is, but it does exist. All right. We're looking for a chicken dinner. We're looking for a chicken dinner. From Mista. And also, guys, keep in mind, it is 4 a.m. in Puerto Rico right now. 4 a.m. And he's still going strong. Could me and you play together? Yeah, why not? Add me. But add all of these guys. They'll definitely play with you. Bory Squad, he'll definitely play with you. Nick B, for sure. Golden, absolutely. He'll all play with you. Yo, straight broadcasting from the, from outer space. This connection, but it's still holding, it's still holding tight. It's still holding tight. Uh, what is my username on, uh, what do you want to play on Xbox or would it play on a phone or PC? Let me know. I have different usernames for each. Let me know. I will tell you for them all. Rules of survival. Rules of survival. I can't even say that. Whatever happened to that game, Nick B? Rules of survival. Do people uh, play that still? Because I played the heck out of that game when it came out. Mobile? Oh. It's the Stone Gamer. It's the Stone Gamer. T H E Stone Gamer. As in the Stone Gamer. Not D. I know, Nick B, whenever this came out, everyone was like, well, rules of survival? Don't even need it anymore. Everyone pieced out. They're like, Psh, we out of here. Rules of what? Oh, nice kill! Beautiful kill from Bory Squad. Getting down. Yeah, it's the Stone Gamer. Dennis. One, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. Yo, Dennis, maybe like um like what is that? That one, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. Is that your phone number or something? You put your phone. You're you putting your phone number in your Twitch tag. It's um. Let me make sure that it's what it is. Let me open it up right quick. Give me one second. 
Let me open up the game and let me make sure that it is exactly what I think it is. Please don't turn off your device. I won't. Let me get that new content. Another kill. Beautiful. 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 A blue hole company. All right, here we go. T H E S T O N E G G A M E R. The Sam Gamer. The Stone Gamer. T H E S T O N G G A M E R. The Stone Gamer. Some gamma. Nick B, you got it. You got it, Nick B. You got it, Nick B. You got it, Nick B. No. No. Wait, why is your watch? Oh my God, Dennis! So wait, your pop, your uh, Twitch name is one two three four eight eight nine, but your pub G name is one two three nine zero oh, nine. What are these numbers for? What are what are these numbers? What are these numbers for? What are they for? Your username for PUBG is one two three nine zero oh, eight nine. Well, the what is one two three four eight eight nine? Oh, wow! What what is this? What is the significance of one two three four eight eight nine? When your PUBG name is one two three nine zero oh, eight nine. This there has to be some type of significance. There has to be something. What's the purpose of these? What, what is the purpose? Is it your PIN code? Is it your social security? Is it your phone number, your address? What is this? I want to know. You don't know? You don't know why you chose these random numbers? No, Dennis, you have to know. There has to be a purpose. There has to be a purpose, dude. Please tell me. Like, please tell me. Dennis. Dennis, Dennis, listen to me, Dennis. Why, what, what is this? Are you some type, are, is, is, is this some type of test? Is this some type of code that I'm trying to like decipher? <laughs> some random numbers, lol. I'm just his numbers, I guess. No, what are these uh, lottery ticket numbers? What, what is this? What do these numbers play in your life? These numbers must mean something. They say I'm the winner. Ooh! Ooh! -hoo! Dennis! Ha ha! Dennis getting it, y'all. Watch out. Dennis getting it. That fire is coming out of Dennis. Dennis filled with that fire. I go hard with the numbers. Yo. I go hard. Yo. Sure. Apparently, Dennis. 
that one billion. Hey, did uh, anyone uh, get it? Hey, Nick B, did uh, any uh, person hit it tonight? Or is it is it up? Because I have my ticket. I got a ticket. I'm trying to hit that lottery. Is it actually a billion now? Did it, did it just go up? You don't know? Yo, I got a ticket for that lottery. It said like a billion dollars. And I went to the um, donut shop. And I got my ticket. I didn't get a donut because I'm trying to eat carb free and I gotta lose weight. I have to be fit. I gotta be strong. I gotta be spelt. I gotta be spelt. I don't have to really lose weight. I just have to trim. I gotta trim. I just have to like take what I have, you know, and just like, you know, make it better. Make it better. So I figured that I can't be doing that while I'm eating like bear, you know, claws and cherry filled donuts that's not gonna help no there hasn't been a single exercise plan on the planet that's like yo man you can eat all those blueberry pastries you feel me add you on PUBG alright boom let me get my rewards for the day Boom. Give me that money. Get that money. Let's get like Fortnite PUBG, huh? All right. The Stone Gamer, you want to add me? Add me on PUBG. What is your PUBG name, though? It's, uh, it, it isn't Dennis1234889. It's Dennis1234889. <laughs> Yo, there's, there isn't a single winner on the, no way. No one won that, that ticket? Yo, numbers are crazy. I'm playing all these numbers. Dennis is telling us that we should be playing all these numbers, y'all. Write them down. One, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine. Dennis, yes. One ticket got five of six numbers? No one got the... Billion dollars? Oh my gosh, really? One, two, three, nine, oh, eight, nine. Oh my gosh. All right, hold up. Let me add you, Dennis. Hold up. How about I add a different Dennis with uh, one, two, three, eight, oh, eight, five, or something like that? Dennis one two three nine oh eight nine search I found you added have been added to this guys we are on our way to a five hour tournament we did not think it would go this long but it has five hours a five hour tournament and we aren't even over yet Five hours, cinco horas. 
a la noche, a la noche, cinco horas a la noche. Aquí, es aquí, en la Stone Gamer HQ. Es más tarde, es más tarde. Pero no me importa. Solo gameplay bueno. Es todo, es todo. Guys, that was I was speaking Spanish. I tried to at least. This is the longest tournament we've ever had inside of the HQ or inside of the SGL. Sorry, inside of the SGL, oh, the longest tournament. Five hours, aside from like grand finales, which can take an entire day. This is the longest single tournament we've ever had inside the SGL. And our first tournament on a phone, our first phone game tournament. I should not be level one. It's crazy. I like. I should not be level one, but I guess I am. Did they like do a little stat reset or something from the uh, beta, or something? Oh, you know what? I signed in incorrectly. Hold up. I signed in incorrectly. I'm not playing though. I'm not playing. I, I can't play. No, I'm not playing while there's an actual game a tournament being played. No way, dears. The guy he's with is a terrible driver. Yeah, man. Oh, there you go. He's not that bad. He's not that bad. He's not that bad, Nick B. Check it out. He isn't that bad. He crashed like four times. <laughs> I didn't see those crashes. I'm looking right at it too. I didn't even see it. Get that crate. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Did you get the uh, level three helmet? Did that guy just jack everything? No, you got it. All right, cool. So you are definitely strapped. You're definitely dressed for success right now, Boy Squad. Can I be in the tournament? No, it's too late. And plus, you seem to be too young, maybe, to uh, play in the SGL. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the SGL is only open to players that inhale cannabis and elevate off of cannabis. If you aren't elevating off of cannabis, then you should not be playing in the SGL. Unless, Dennis, you are half human, half AI, which I can see that, perhaps, maybe based on your long, one, two, three, four, eight, eight, nine name,
crates. Very patient, very calm, very patient. I know, listen, I understand you, look, wait till you turn 21 and you come to California, then you can compete in the SGL. Um, very important uh, league that we have here. Very important league. But yeah, it's only open for people that smoke cannabis. If you don't smoke cannabis, then you cannot play. Matter of fact, we even test to see if our players are under the influence of cannabis. If you aren't under the influence or elevation of cannabis, then you cannot play in the SGL. In this season, we have truly been heavy hitters against uh, people trying to play and not being under the influence of cannabis. We've had to kick entire teams out of tournaments because they can't show their proof of elevation. So, Dennis, I, I apologize. I understand you're probably crying. But, dude, there are other, you know tournaments that are out there they aren't as um, good as ours but it's fine you know you could join in and be a part of their little shimmy sham or you could be in an actual straight up hardcore organization like the SGL and be like truly celebrated as an amazing human being so perhaps Dennis, I'm gonna tell you this right now, okay? Listen, listen to me, Dennis. Listen to me, Dennis. Please listen, listen to these words I'm gonna tell you. Let's say you're in high school, right? Let's say you're in high school. I'm saying you're in high school. Maybe you're even in before high school, all right? I'm gonna tell you, and this is gonna sound crazy. I'm gonna tell you, don't touch cannabis while you're in high school. Don't even touch it. Wait until you get to college to touch cannabis. And then when you're in college, you can do whatever you want. If you want to do shrooms, LSD, um, peyote, ayahuasca, DMT, you can do it all in college. Save, there you go, save them, save them. But, uh, while you're in high school and primary school and whatever school you're in right now, just, just honestly, even if you think it sucks, even if you think school sucks, even if you think school sucks to get, it sucks to get up at, you know, 8 a.m. and go into school and do homework, yeah, it sucks, all right? Nothing's fun about school. Your friends are the only fun thing about school, but even your friends can be like, uh, you know, bummer sometimes. The whole thing about of, about getting your education is that you just have to just buck up and just do it, dude. And don't do it under the influence of cannabis. Wait until you get to college and then do whatever you want, dude. My advice is to do all the drugs you can get your hands on when you're in college. All the, you know, fun drugs. Don't do the, like, crack or anything, you know? Do all the fun things, like shrooms, mescaline, cannabis, LSD, acid, DMT, maybe a bit of MDMA here and there. Um, but don't do it while you're in high school. It's just a waste, because the problem is, the, like, reason why I'm, like, telling you this it's because you aren't going to get anything out of it. Like, doing shrooms and, and like, um, when you're, like, 13 or 14 or 15 or 16, whatever it is, 
you aren't going to get anything out of it. It's just going to be a bunch of like craziness. Oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ooh. And then she says, no. No about what? No about doing drugs? Well, good, man. Good for you. That's the attitude you should have right now. When I was, when I was my own little young Dennis, I'm not sure how old you are, but when I was your age, I was so anti-drugs. I was like, man, I'm not touching that. I'm not gonna waste my life. I'm not gonna throw my life away on one little blunt or joint. And that's good. You should have that attitude. I'm happy you have that attitude. Keep that attitude. Keep that attitude, Dennis. Keep that attitude. But college, drugs, that's in your future, Dennis. If you play your cards right and finish high school with some good grades. <laughs> what a weird emoji response. I love it. Oh, you're hurt. Are you hurt? Or are you just crawling? All right, never mind. I thought you were hurt. So close. It is so close. It is so close. F you. Why F, F me? What, what did I do? What did I do, Dennis? What have I done to to accept an F you? What have I done? I've just given you, honestly, dude, I've given you the best advice you've probably received this entire year. All the other advice that you've probably gotten from your parents and stuff, garbage. It's been trash. You gotta listen to me. <laughs> Nick B. Yeah, look, you can't you can't join the tournament when we're like thirty games deep into the tournament and it's almost over and we've been going on for five hours. You can't. Oh, nice. Hey, we ain't got that chicken dinner. No, 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 no. Number three. Number three, no, I thought it was a, I thought it was a premature chicken dinner. That was a premature chicken dinner. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, everybody out there. All right, okay. All right, okay, okay. So guys, it is 1.30 a.m. We've been going at this since 8 30. So yeah, five hours. Wow. Five hours exactly on the dot, actually. Woo! Alright, so guys, we have all the stats right here. Let's read out third, second, and first place. Are you guys ready for this? Third, second, and first first place so let me just make sure I have this these stats right thanks for the follow all right so here we go ready guys Third place. <laughs> All right. Hold up. Let me make sure these stats are right. Let me make sure these stats are right, guys, before we start announcing who's the winner. 
things are so close, guys. Things were so close tonight that, I mean, oof, wow, things are so close. So guys, uh, we've had, boom. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have a tie. We have a tie. Wait. Wait. Hold up, guys. Oh my gosh. Let me count that again. Right, hold up. Wow, we have a tie. Hold up. We have a tie. How is this possible? Let me just make sure that everything's correct. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So we have we have a tie. K and K. Morning, Zeus. Was nice to watch Sir Wake the Bacon. Nice K and K. K and K is in there. Thank you for the follow. FT Dubs. FT Dubs. FT Dubs, bubbling it up, FT Dubs. Thank you. Thank you, FT Dubs. So, guys, we have a tie. But the tie is for second and third place. First place is already done. So, the tie that we have for second and third place. It's so incredible. It's so incredible. I checked everything and it, it adds up. So, the tie for second and third place is each person had an average of 2.1667 squad score finishing score. So, like, you average either like second place, 2.1667. Second place point one six six seven basically right between six battles, all right. The two people that were tied for second and third place are you guys ready. The two people tied. For second and third place, what up, Candy Cane? By the way, what's up? Are Gringo Forest Squad and Golden D? <laughs> Golden D tied for second and third. Nick B is the champion! Nick B, champion, chef right over there in chat, finished with an average score of 1.8333, making him the champion for tonight. Nick B is going home with an email, mini nail, dab rig. Congratulations, sir. Impressive stuff, Chef Boyer D. You will see yourself on Insta tomorrow, on Facebook, on our uh, site, and on Twitter. And we will be passing over your details to... Get your prize ASAP. We still have your address um, from the previous tournament. That was from Ball Night. Uh, but right now, you have actually become champion. You are champion. Who had the most squad kills? We didn't track that information, but you definitely did. I, I think. From one... Uh, maybe I don't know. We we didn't track that information. That information wasn't tracked. We were just focusing on one thing, and one thing only, and that was team.
quad rake. And you pulled it off. Congratulations, sir. You did it in your car. You did it at work. You did it at home. And guys, that right there was a five hour plus tournament. Longest tournament we've ever had since 2015. Just think about that. A single game, one single game, longest tournament since 2015. Five hours candy cane. Gringo, uh, there was a tie for second and third place. It was a tie for second, really. You were tied for second. Golden and yourself were tied for second. So, um, that was amazing, though. That was amazing. That was all impressive stuff. And people, you will receive your SG. Nick B will receive a brand new achievement on his account. This dude has so many achievements on his account. It's ridiculous. You're going to receive uh, uh, like a sixth, seventh achievement. This guy is crushing it right now. But, guys, listen up. We are done. That's five hours down the SGL tournament vortex. And it was fantastic. It was fun. Thank you for tuning in. But, guys, I am tired. We are tired. The players out there are probably tired as well. Gringo, it is 4.30 a.m. in Puerto Rico, yet you are still up. You are still ready to play again. And that, my friend, is beautiful. That's beautiful. With that said, guys, stay high. Play high. Candy Cane just got up out of bed. It's Saturday for her in England. Yes, England, Puerto Rico, and America in one chat room. One chat room. All right. Nick B has to order some shoes. Candy Cane has to get her tea and her full English breakfast. And Queen has to paint. You got to paint. Queen, you can't fall asleep tonight. You have to paint tonight. You have to paint tonight. You have to paint tonight, Queen. Paint until the sun comes up. All right, guys. Peace out. Stay high. Play high. I'm Zeus. And let's show them what they uh, got while we take off, please. Much love. Mwah.